ਲਿਬਰਲ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕੈਨੇਡੀਅਨ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦਾ ਆਧੁਨਿਕਰਨ ਕਰਨ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਜ਼ੋਰ ਲਾਇਆ ਜਾ ਰਿਹਾ ਹੈ ਅੱਜ ਸੰਗੀ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਮੰਤਰੀ ਸ਼ਾਨ ਫਰੇਜ਼ਰ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਕਲਾਇੰਟਸ ਦੇ ਤਜਰਬੇ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਸੁਧਾਰ ਕਰਨ ਅਤੇ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਨੂੰ ਆਧੁਨਿਕ ਰੰਗਤ ਦੇਣ ਦਾ ਐਲਾਨ ਕੀਤਾ ਗਿਆ ਇਹ ਮਾਪਦੰਡ ਕਲਾਇੰਟਸ ਨੂੰ ਦਰਪੇਸ਼ ਸਮੱਸਿਆਵਾਂ ਨੂੰ ਧਿਆਨ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਰੱਖ ਕੇ ਪੇਸ਼ ਕੀਤੇ ਗਏ ਹਨ ਇਹਨਾਂ ਰਾਹੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸਿੰਗ ਸਿਸਟਮ ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਵੀ ਸੁਧਾਰ ਕੀਤਾ ਜਾਵੇਗਾ ਉਹਨਾਂ ਆਖਿਆ ਕਿ ਮਹਾਮਾਰੀ ਕਾਰਨ ਸਾਡੇ ਕਈ ਹੁਨਰਮੰਦ ਅਤੇ ਸਕਿਲਡ ਨਿਊਕਮਰਸ ਨੂੰ ਲੰਮੀ ਉਡੀਕ ਕਰਨੀ ਪਈ ਇਨਕੋਮਿਮ ਐਂਡ फिजिकल अपडेट 2021 ਦੇ ਵਿੱਚ ਅਰਜ਼ੀਆਂ ਦੀ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸਿੰਗ ਵਿੱਚ ਹੋਣ ਵਾਲੀ ਦੇਰੀ ਨੂੰ ਘਟਾਉਣ ਦੇ ਲਈ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਸਰਕਾਰ ਦੇ ਵੱਲੋਂ ਨਵੇਂ ਫੰਡਾਂ ਵਜੋਂ 85 ਮਿਲੀਅਨ ਡਾਲਰ ਦਾ ਪ੍ਰਸਤਾਵ ਰੱਖਿਆ ਗਿਆ ਹੈ ਆਈ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਰਿਫਲੈਕਟ ਟੂ ਓਪਨ ਥਿੰਗਸ ਔਨ ਦ ਫੈਕਟ ਥੈਟ ਵਿਦ ਦੀ ਐਕਸੈਪਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਇੰਡੀਜੀਨਸ ਪੀਪਲਸ ਐਵਰੀਵਨ ਇਨ ਕੈਨੇਡਾ ਹੈਜ਼ ਐਨ ਇਮੀਗ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਸਟੋਰੀ ਸਮਵੇਅਰ ਇਨ ਦਿਰ ਪਾਸਟ Canada has been a land of opportunity for millions of people whether they're from Scotland like my ancestors uh, or from Asia, Africa, Europe, the Americas and everywhere else immigrants have helped to build our great country as uh, to what it has become today uh, Canada's story is largely built uh, on many stories millions of stories of immigration now we know that many talented and skilled newcomers have been waiting for a very long time and we understand that they simply want to come to Canada as soon as possible and i want them to know that canada wants you here too i want you to know that we're doing everything we can to process your application as soon as possible in our department at immigration refugees and citizenship canada is working to deliver the best possible client experience for all those who use our services both in canada and overseas but frankly i'm more than willing to admit that we can and we must continue to do better now that brings me to the purpose of our discussion today uh, i want to walk you through certain measures that we're introducing uh, to build upon some of the steps we've already taken that will help reduce processing times and if i may categorize them in in two buckets so to speak the first is uh, efforts to reduce processing times with the 85 million dollars that was included in the recent economic and fiscal update the second is new functionalities that have recently come online or will be coming online soon as part of our effort to transform canada's immigration into a modern and digital platform We've been taking action to reduce certain application inventories that grew during the pandemic, and I want to draw your attention to a few key ones with the recent economic and fiscal update measures. There are specific lines of business that we want to be targeting. Let me start with work permits. In my conversations with Canadian businesses and the organizations that represent them, they say it's incredible that we've seen such a strong economic recovery to date with more people working today in Canada than were working before the pandemic. But there's also a major labor shortage. and we want to make sure that we can get our workers here on time as a result of the investments in the economic and fiscal update and other measures we expect to see work permit processing times return to the service standard this year potentially sooner for those uh, international students and the institutions uh, that uh, seek to bring them here i want you to know that we are uh, despite the fact that we've uh, processed uh, over five almost 560,000 study permit applications in 2021 which uh, by the way corresponds with a 32% increase over pre-pandemic levels which we thought were pretty big back then we're going to be putting additional resources to get the study permit processing times back to our service standard this year in hopes that we can get as many students here on the schedule they need to complete their uh, academic uh, programs uh, we also are going to be making sure that we're putting additional resources to reduce processing times for temporary visitors to canada